y'all. So I wasn't actually going to film this one because the kiddo was out here hanging out with me. I really don't like to put his face out on the interwebs too much. But then he decided to abandon me with his bag of chips. So I just got done with a brief five minute warm up jump roping. So go get your warm up. Right, whatever you want to do. You know I love jump roping, so that's typically my warm up for just about everything. But today is leggies and shoulders. Two muscle groups. So I have a whole in here and jump to kids just like. Um, that has actually happened to me. Side note that I had a pair of pants, I think from Fabletics, that had like starting from right here, cute little small slits, and they split all the way down while I was teaching a boot camp class. Like it was like slit, slit, slit. And like all three of them, the fabric in between the slits decided to also slit. So like half my leg was out. So I was a little worried for a second. I was like deja vu. But legs and shoulders, two muscle groups that I love to put together. Um, Cause while your legs are resting, you get to work your shoulders, shoulders resting, work your legs. Two that I love. So what do you need? If you have a barbell, right, or access to one, great. If not, anything that I do with this bar, you can do with a dumbbell or even resistance bands. So I'm gonna do a barbell back squat. Let's say you don't have one, right? Let's say all you've got is a resistance band. Step on that sucker, load these up right here on your shoulders, squat down and press up out of that band. Totally can do it from there. We're doing Bulgarian split squats. If you don't have dumbbells or something to put your feet on, choke up on that band, right? And you can do just a split squat here, right? Or a static lunge, whatever you want to call it down, pull up against it, right? So anything we're doing with the barbell, you can do with another piece of equipment. I only recently got this for years. I don't know if you can see it. I just worked with this small uh, barbell that I got at Walmart for like 45 bucks and it comes with a 10, 15, and 25 pound weights. And that was like my staple for years. So just because you don't have all the different plates doesn't mean you can't still get a great workout in. So barbell or dumbbells or resistance band or whatever you've got, you are gonna need a box, a chair, something to put your foot on for those Bulgarian split squats. Again, if you don't like a Bulgarian, just do a split squat, right? Um, or like I said, a static lunge. So keep them one foot out, driving straight down, pushing up with a Bulgarian, that back foot is gonna be off onto that bench. So we're gonna hinge forward a little with the Bulgarian and go down deep into it and come back up working those quads and those glutes. Then we're gonna have a heel elevated front squat. So I am again going to use my barbell. You can use a singular dumbbell. You've seen me in these using a singular heavy dumbbell. I just up my weight a little bit, right? So heels are elevated on something, whether that be two dumbbells, which again, I did for years because I didn't have all these plates. I just grabbed my two little five pounders and I put my heels on them and that was my heel elevated squat. Now I just use the plates because it's easier, right? So holding a dumbbell or the barbell in front, going down and up. Then we'll have some B stance deadlifts. So we're gonna have one leg planted, one leg just toe on the floor, and we're gonna come down and hinge and twist a little towards that standing leg and pull back up, all right? So it's here, down and twist, butt goes back like you're trying to push a car door closed, down and back up. So we've got those, and then we're gonna finish out with step up. So again, you will need something to step up on. Chair, cinder block, um, bench, couch, it doesn't matter. If you have absolutely nothing to put your two feet on and take them off of, do a kneel to stand. Same, same, just without equipment. Dumbbells, dumbbells, one dumbbell, whatever you choose, and you're just gonna come up, up, down, down, all right? Same exact thing as the mother, as the step ups, all right? Shoulders, we're gonna put some shoulders in there, so pick some shoulder weights. If you want an assortment, again, you can use band for a lot of stuff, you can use it for a lateral raise, you can use it for an overhead press, upright rope, 
resistance bands are so versatile, so that's all you got, grab it. If not, grab yourself a couple sets. I know I can do an overhead press a lot heavier than I can a lateral raise, right? I could do an upright row a lot heavier than I can do a front raise, right? So I've got my 12s and my 15s. I'm probably gonna have to go for those little 10s over there. And I don't know, maybe even the 8s. The world is your oyster. Are you ready? Got my caffeinated protein drink. It's so good. So, so good. It's a, uh, I found it walking through GMC. It's called Dimatize um, Dunkin' Mocha Latte. And a lot of times I'm working up nearly early in the morning and it's got 90 milligrams of caffeine in it per scoop. Not sponsored, affiliated, nothing. I, I could drink it all day long. They did actually send me Though again, I'm not sponsored, affiliated, they don't pay me a single cent, not a dime, not a dollar, nothing. But I did a video on TikTok and they sent me their chocolate peanut butter protein. Get out of town. So good. All right. Are we ready? Let's start some music. Let's get a quick, quick warm up. Even though, well, now my heart rate's down. Another. All right. Why not those legs? Let's squat down. Hold it and back up. Down. Good job. Right here. Good. Quick warm up. But if you need more warm up, pause it. Go get warm and come back. Good. Three more. Good. Two. Last one. Hold it down here. I want you to put those elbows in between those knees. Now let those hands drop and grab those toes. Stretch that butt to the sky. If you can hold on to your toes, great. I can't. Drop that butt back down. And butt back up. Butt down. Butt up. Butt down. And back up. Butt down. Back up. Three more. Three. Good job. Two. One more. Roll up. One leg back into a lunge. Down. Twist. Step in. Other leg. Down. Twist. In. Down. Good work. Down. Good. Four more total. We don't want to do too much work with our legs because we want to make them work with those squats. Two. One. Two. One. All right. Squats. I'm going to go barbell. You choose what you're doing. Dumbbell, resistance band. Oh, well, would it help if I put the other weight over there? So I'm going to start out kind of medium for me. My max right now is 45s on each side, but only for four to six, depending on the day. So we're shooting for 10 reps. We're gonna do three rounds, 10 reps, and then we're gonna go to shoulders. I'll face you. All right, if you're on a barbell, oh, flat shoes, by the way, y'all. Flat shoes. You notice the no, really no cushion on the flat shoes. You're more stable for legs. Lift it, set it up slightly wider than those hips. Toes pointed slightly to the corners. Let's go for 10. One. Two. Good, nice and controlled. Three. If you can't go heavier, go slower in your tempo. Add a pause at the bottom. Five. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set it. Woo! Overhead press. You ready? Point them forward. Three, two, we're going for 12. Let's go. One, 
two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Woo. you feeling toasty? Now, question, can you add more weight? Can you grab a heavier dumbbell? If you don't have a dumbbell, can you add a pause at the bottom? Slow it down. What can you do to change it? You ready? 10, I might only get eight, so that's okay. Not feeling like a super strong day. Let's go. Set it up. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Remember, don't touch those hips forward at the top. Four. Five. Ooh, halfway. Six. Seven. Let's get set up from some of the 
right here. Slight hinge. We're going straight down. So that knee goes back. It doesn't go forward. Slight hinge. Down. Oh, lateral raises.
dumbbell. Hold it right here in your chest. And you're doing your front squat with it. Right in front, again, no, no barbell. You're holding a dumbbell at the sides right here at your chest for that front rack position, or two dumbbells facing you. Heels are gonna go on whatever you've got there. Book an encyclopedia, two dumbbells, plate, it don't matter. Something low so that your heels are on it, the balls of your feet are on the floor, okay? You ready? Three, go. 
good job. Come on. Four. Five. Six. Seven.
raises. We're gonna go palm in. We got 10. Control it. Control it. Control it. Slide that in the knee, engage your core. Let's go. One. Two. Good. Three. Right there. Four. Give yourself a kick standing knee. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Set two. You're not turning all the way to the side wall. Five, just to put that dumbbell over that foot. Six. Seven. Eight. Switch. Woo, let's go straight into it. One. Going, slice in in that knee. Six, seven, eight. Front raises. Pick them up. Pick them up. Let's go. We're almost at the end. Three, two, let's go. Control one, two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, I'm so glad we're doing ten, not twelve. Oh, last set each. We got step ups and then we're done. Let's go. Pick it up. You got it. Plant that foot, toe. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Knee 
is at or slightly above hip height. All right? If that is too much for you, I've been working at the lower height for weeks. That's not super at my hips. I'm going to get more glute engagement with the higher option. Right at, I get a little bit more glute when I'm up here. All right? Work with what works for you. I am just now feeling comfortable increasing that height. Again, it takes time. I'm going to grab a 20. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to work on the 25. I'm going to go same leg. Ready? Try not to push off that same leg. We want to control it and put that work loose. Quad. Woo, let's go. Ten. Lean forward. Up. Slow down. Two. Try not to push off too much. Three. Four. Five. Oh, let's go for 10. Lean 
Team four, come on. One. Two. Three. Four. I'm gonna try those taps again. Five.
Let's go. One, two, control. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest. Let's go for 12. You know what? Let's just be crazy. Let's go for 15. We got it. You ready? And then we're done. I promise. Done, 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 done. After 15. You and I, we can do this. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Go at five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, done. Oh. Oh. Done. Y'all, I am going to move this out of my way. Oh. That was my legs are so burnt from that. Let me try to make sure I put up my weight. Because I have a tendency, let me know if any of you, to leave my workout equipment everywhere. And then I come back the next day to work out and I hate that it's like spread out all over the place. Ooh, let's get a big stretch in. I want you to sink down wide, reach up, and extend up and over. Other side. And come down. And extend up. And reach up and over. Other side. Good job. Feet together. One foot forward, toe to the sky. I want you to sink that butt back. And switch. Make sure to grab, drink, grab, drink lots of water after a good strength day, especially legs. Make sure you're getting your protein in. That's what's going to help build those muscles and make that body composition change, right? Is really paying attention to your protein intake. So water and protein. Let's open up that hip, open other side. Just release it. One more. Done. Great job. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for notifications on new workouts. I don't know what kind of bug that is. <laughs> Please like, share, and comment. Please leave me a comment. Liked it, didn't like it, hate it, want more of it, less of it. Um, different exercise you'd like to include in our leg days if you like these leg days. So I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, if you are on TikTok, I'd love it if you could hop over and give me a follow, fit with Ashley there. I'm sharing a lot of different short content over there. I found it a lot easier to grow um, and really to edit over on TikTok. Instagram was super hard, I don't know why. But if you're on TikTok, fit with Ashley, give me a follow, I'd appreciate it. It's both fitness and kind of little itty bits of home life, it's nutrition, the Velociraptor puppies in it a lot. The kiddo is in it, but I always put an emoji on his face, so he'll be in things kind of peripher peripherally, peripherally, right? So it'll be a little bit more of stuff of like me, right? So um, some of stuff with the hubs, right? So anyways, I'd love if you would give me a follow if you're on TikTok, please do, and be proud of you, because I'm proud of you for showing up, putting in the work, moving your body, right, and getting it done. Stay safe, stay moving, stay healthy. Love you all. Bye.